I don't know that I was ever inspired to become a teacher. I it kind of was serendipitous. Um, I've been in dental practices and had worked for 20 years and had an opportunity to come back to the technical college. I'm a graduate from 1976 and through my years in the dental offices I was an on-site teacher so to speak. I trained a lot of uh, incoming interns and I also worked with a lot of people who are off the street and coming onto the job with no prior education or information about what a dental assistant does. So um, I have a passion for dentistry, so I think that that flows through my teaching abilities and I, I really enjoy teaching. When I was in school and college, I had an instructor that said, um, someday I'll wish to see you back as a teacher someday. And, and I thought he was um, full of it. I didn't believe him and uh, it was about five or six years later I got a phone call from him and we went out to lunch and um, he uh, offered me a position as a teacher and uh, it was um, my mentor and my previous uh, instructor's name was John Kuntz, wonderful man and uh, he's the one that really inspired me and encouraged me to, um, to become a teacher and, uh, and so I, I'm thankful for that and I still stay in contact with him today. So, uh, In fact, John um, taught here at Flint Hills Tech College for um, over 30 years. And so it was pretty neat to be able to have his encouragement um, in that process. My uh, beginnings of going to school, I was a much older student. I was in my 30s, had a full family, and then began doing my uh, schooling then. But in the middle of my schooling, my husband was in a uh, critical accident and made him a paraplegic and we had to take time out to handle that. So I did not get back to school for about three to four years. And then he went back to school after his accident, so I went back and finished. It took me approximately 10 years to get through that. But in that time, I did some substitute teaching and uh, for different community colleges. So I kept that goal in mind as I went forward. So that didn't stop me, but it made us um, take a break or um, gave me time to really focus on what I really wanted to do in teaching. I have really not experienced any hardship besides teaching in the technology field. The technology changes every couple years, so everything you've done over the last three or four years, you have to throw in the trash can and develop all new lesson plans, labs, and uh, learn new stuff every year. Interestingly enough, I did want to be a teacher when I was a child. Um, uh, the first time I went to college, I uh, entered as a secondary uh, education major. I guess that's the right way to say it. I wanted to be an art teacher. Um, I wanted to teach high school kids how to sculpt too much pragmatist in me and um, I turned to graphic design um, and it, it's been a, a good career choice so far. Actually, um, I, when I first graduated from high school I was considering uh, teaching algebra. I, was, I loved math um, and went on to school for about a year for that and decided um, that was not the path that I wanted at that time. Yes, I went to college with the goal of becoming a teacher. Um, I went to Emporia State right out of high school for a year. Um, I had a part-time job and then also went to school. Realized that sitting in a class of 80 or 90 people wasn't really for me. Um, I was more of a hands-on type person. Um, met a woman, um, got married, and then started working. Uh, so. Then after, after that passed, uh, after a few years, I decided to come back and went to FHTC. Um, absolutely not. Um, I uh, despised school. Uh, I did not like school. Um, I did not want to do anything with school. In fact, I was looking forward to the day that I could be done with school and move on with life. And so uh, when I got through college, um, I had graduated college and uh, I was out in the industry. I worked about five or six years out in the printing industry and um, I got the phone call. And at that time, I was excited for the position, but I didn't know really what it was all about. And now, um, I've been teaching for 11 years, and I just love it. And so now I'm uh, 
don't know if I'd ever change my career at this point. So I'm thankful to be teaching. My original job, I when I came right out of high school, I started working in restaurant work. I still like restaurant work, but it wasn't as satisfying as helping students. That became a passion with me because there were things in computers that I was learning, programming, web design, etc. And I really enjoyed that so much. And my favorite students have always been the adult or older students out of high school. They have more of a goal in mind to get through school and get a job. And some of my older students, I've had students as high as 75 years old trying to learn a computer and how to get around on it. And when they were done with the class, they were thrilled that they had learned something like that, that they felt that they could go out and purchase a computer even. And those people loved soaking up the information. And it, it just made me feel good that they felt good about their skills when they were done. So I really enjoyed that part. I think by having the experience of being a dental assistant gave me an opportunity to explore the dental field, which gave me um, an interest on um, becoming a hygienist and then later becoming a teacher. Why did I choose to teach at FHTC? Uh, because it's a technical college and they actually train the students to do stuff, not just talk about it, read books, write papers. We actually uh, tear things apart, get our hands dirty, configure computers, fix them, break them, fix them. And so we do it for real. That's the fun part. Um, I chose to work here for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I'm a FHTC alumni. Um, I graduated from here in the graphic arts department. Um, so right there, that was my first connection, my first love. Um, two, uh, my mentor, uh, John Coons, as I mentioned earlier, he's the one that really encouraged me and got me into teaching. And so uh, when he retired, um, I had the opportunity to take over what he has developed. And it was so exciting to take over. And honestly, it was an honor to take over because he's the one that really established and built this program for 30 years. And it was an honor to be able to take over what he had established and done. And so um, it's a great college. Um, it's a great institution to put out graduates. I know the quality that we put out here. And for me, knowing the quality that the students were coming out of here, I'd want to be a part of that. And so it was an honor to come back and to teach at, at Flint Hills Tech College. Well, I hope to say that FHTC chose me. I did apply for the job and they did select me and, uh, out of the candidates that were in the pool that year and now they can't get rid of me. How's that? <laughs> what I like best is that aha moment when a student is struggling with a concept or struggling with a lab and then finally it just makes sense. And the light bulb comes on and you can just see the worries and the stress just kind of leave the student and confidence take his place and I've got this I can do this that's that's probably the best thing second best thing would be taking students that you know work at McDonald's for seven eight bucks an hour getting them a nineteen twenty dollar an hour job I mean that's pretty awesome to be able to do that so those are my those are my favorite things um, I think we have a good ownership in our courses and um, we build a camaraderie with our students. Yes, we're teachers and we're instructors and the students are students, but there's still a good relationship there. You have time to build the relationship. You have the, um, they support us, FHT supports us with all the possible technology that we can use and try, they try to keep up to date so that our students are job worthy when they leave here. So I'm very proud of this school and what they've accomplished over the years. I have to say the job that I have is a job that I would choose. It's been wonderful to be at FHTC. It's been a great experience for me. Um, it's been profitable for me and that in not money so much but as relationship building and having opportunities to meet people and to touch the students 
and to see the light bulbs go off when you finally get it and they go, oh yeah, I got it, I got it. And then I can say, you got it. And it, that's a wonderful thing for me, is to be able to see the students' enthusiasm. And if I can give them one degree of my passion for dentistry, they'll be a success. That's my goal. Oh my gosh. Hope I don't lose the focus there. If I could have any job in the world, I would have this job. Um, I am one of the lucky few who walked this earth who found the job that I am going to retire from. Um, it is incredibly fulfilling for me to work with people, to watch young people grow and develop as a designer, to be able to um, share with them the things that I have learned through my years of experience and continue to learn. As an instructor, my eyes have been open to that um, possibility that students will teach the teacher. Um, and I can earnestly say that I learn more from my students every year than I have ever learned from any classroom instruction that I've received. Um, the fresh minds interacting with software, they're always looking for new solutions. And they're not afraid to start clicking around, start punching the buttons and finding new ways and developing things that, uh, developing techniques that I, sometimes the software is simply not designed for. And it's great. I've, I've learned that um, in any given piece of software, there are three things, three ways to do any given command. And um, it's, it's been really eye-opening as an instructor. It's, it's just been so fulfilling for me. Um, and I look forward to seeing all the new faces every year. I have found my job. This is the last job I will I will ever have, um, and it's been it's been great for me.